down. He uh, he he told Noah that there was going to be a, a worldwide flood because he was disappointed with the state of the earth, how everybody was falling into wickedness and unrighteousness. God was disappointed with the earth, so he decided to wipe everybody out. But he told Noah, he said, I have chosen you and your family to be the ones that survived the flood on this boat. And you will survive after the flood, and then you will repopulate the earth for me. So Noah built this humongous ark, the biggest boat that, that anybody had ever seen. He built this humongous ark. God told him the exact detail on how to build it. And he warned his friends. He said, hey, the earth's about to get flooded. And his friends were laughing at it, and they're like, no, there's no way the earth's about to get flooded. You're, you're out of your mind, Noah. But Noah had faith in God. He trusted God, that God was telling him the truth. So he built this ark, and he put him and his family on it. And sure enough, God made it rain straight for 40 days and 40 nights. This flooded the entire earth wiping out all human population except for Noah and his family. And then Noah and his family repopulated the earth just like God had commanded them. Now this next uh, sculpture you'll find on, the far, on your far left here, this was the Last Supper. This was Jesus' uh, last supper with his disciples before he was crucified the next day. This was the last meal that he ate with his disciples. <clears throat> um, and he, he gave, them, gave them rules on how to, how to do things like communion to, to remember the sacrifice that he was. He was the perfect sacrifice for us. And now I'm going to get to that part. He was the perfect sacrifice. So this one right here, this is an earthly representation of Jesus. Now we obviously don't know what Jesus looked like because it was 2,000 years ago. We, don't, we have no pictures of Jesus or anything. But this is what we believe Jesus looked like. And Jesus came down. He was the Son of God. He came down to earth and he lived 33 years of a perfect life. He didn't sin once. Now sinning is disobeying God's law. Things like lying and stealing and coveting and disobeying your parents. Those are all sins. Jesus didn't perform one sin his entire life for 33 years. I can't go 33 minutes without sinning. I don't know about you guys, but 33 years is pretty impressive to me. Now, he came down and he lived a perfect life, but the Jews decided that they wanted to um, kill him for doing things wrong that he didn't commit. These sins he didn't commit, but they killed him for them anyway. So they hung him on a cross. They put nails through his hands into the, uh, on the cross and nails through his feet. And they put a crown of thorns on his head after slapping him and mocking him before. And they made him carry this, this heavy cross um, the, the journey from the, the place where they, they started to the, um, the place where he was hung on the hill. So he died. He was the perfect sacrifice for us. He didn't commit one sin his entire life, but he was the perfect sacrifice. And this, um, this sacrifice is how we can get to heaven with God now. We can get to heaven through Christ Jesus our Lord. Uh, it says, for God still loved the world, that he sent his one and only son, so that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. So, there's only two things the Bible says you must do to um, accept this gift of eternal life that um, Jesus has offered us with uh, his sacrifice that he was when he came down to earth. The first thing you must do is turning, and the Bible calls it repentant. repentance. It means that you go to God, you say, yes, God, I have sinned. I have done these things that are wrong, but I'm going to let you take hold of my life. I'm going to let your Holy Spirit lead me in ways that you've never led me before. I'm going to let you take hold of my life and perform your will through me. And that's the first thing you must do to accept the gift of eternal life. This, the only other thing you must do to accept this gift is trust. You must have faith that Jesus came down to earth and God raised him from the dead three days after he died on the cross. He was buried in a tomb and God raised him from the dead. And that that is that's the difference between Christianity and all other religions that we don't worship a dead God. Our God is raised from the dead. He died on the cross, but three days later, he rose from the dead. So the, the only two things you must do are turn from your sins, repent, admit to God you've done wrong, allow him to change your life, and trust in him. Trust that he came down to earth. Have faith that he's your Lord and Savior and that he, he rose after three days. So I have these little cards. They're completely free. These cards that you can, you can read. Um, on the back, it has a little bit more information about what I've been talking about. So if you have any questions about what I've been talking about, any objections to what I've been talking about, any comments about what I've been talking about, I would um, encourage you to come talk to me. Come talk to my friends over here. We would love to speak to you, love to have a conversation with you. So thank you for watching and have a blessed day here in Ocean City.